What's going on guys? This is Cole aka Proximity bringing you a brand new video today. I'm going to be covering some grenade tips today, some general grenade tips. I know a lot of people have been uh, asking me to do this for quite some time, so I'm just going to run down the advantages, the pros and cons of every single type of grenade in the game. Uh, I have Dallas here helping me as usual, so I'm just going to run down what are the goods and bads of each and eight. That's kind of the uh, idea. So the first grenade I really want to cover is the frag grenade, which is going to be your main grenade because you spawn in with it all the time, so that's what you're going to be using most of the time. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of people use this kind of like a defensive thing or kind of only throw it at people when they're running away or trying to dip behind cover. But uh, you can actually use this uh, pretty nicely for an offensive type play. Um, it, you know, it's it's pretty effective. This is something called the grenade trap. I'm going to show you guys here. If, if you know, if I saw somebody on my radar, like I see Dallas here, and I pop it through a door, like if I know he's about to walk through a door and I just land, like toss a nade in the door, like if he can run down that one more time, it makes my life really, really easy. You know, if I have my, if my magnum out here, I see him on radar, I pop this in the door. You know, if you do it right, you can shoot him one time in the head and just clean him. It's very, very easy. Um, you know, it's a really great thing to do. I, I don't know if some of you guys already do that or not, but if you don't, you should definitely check that out. You know, make sure you're staring at your radar, make sure you're ready for people. You know, you don't necessarily have to do it in a doorway either. You know, if Dallas is coming up this yellow ramp here, this back yellow stairs, and I knew that, let's, let's just say I was right here, or I, I don't know. Let's just say I see him. I see him. I know he's coming. I just throw it like this. Look at that. I mean, that makes my life so much easier. I know he's coming around the corner. He's already, you know, shields are gone. Uh, you can do that with every type of grenade, but the frag grenade is most effective for that. You know, it, if it's not obvious, the frag grenade bounces, whereas the other ones don't. Um, your plasma grenades will bounce, but not very far. And then the splinter grenades take a bounce, but immediately explode, and they stay there. So you have that freedom with the frag grenade to let them bounce and go a little farther. So on top of the tips I just gave there, with the leading somebody and kind of grenade trapping them is what it's called, using your frags to bounce are very very good as well you know if i was uh let's say i was right you know right here and dallas is right here and we get in this little engagement and i jump away i could top, pop a nade right there bounce it right in that door you know if he's gonna push out i might be able to catch him you know if he was already weak you know you can you can leave nades bounce them wherever you want that's a little harder to do with a plasma grenade because it's not gonna bounce as well if i if we're plasma here it's kind of just gonna stick actually that was a that was a solid bounce you know sometimes they get nice bounces but for the most part they're not gonna do as well um they're just gonna kind of stick closer to the wall and kind of stick in the corner which could work but for the most part i would prefer to use frag grenades in that situation another thing to mention about frag grenades um <clears throat> they have bigger splash damage than plasma grenades and what splash damage is basically like how close you can be to it before like the explosion will, will hurt you so the frag grenades are extremely uh, great for things like that. You know, they'll pop shields at a greater distance. Uh, I'm unable to locate more. I wish I knew where they spawned, but uh, you guys understand the point. You know, using them to bait doorways and things like that is, you know, where frag grenades really shine the most. Um, you know, you can use them to kind of like weed people out of hiding spots if you want. Sometimes that, you know, is good. It depends on the situation. If somebody's hiding behind this pillar here, I mentioned this in my uh, gunfighting tips video. Um, you know, if I get Dallas, you know, a couple shots down. At a high level, I really wouldn't recommend too much throwing grenades immediately because he's probably going to assume I'm going to do that and peek out. And when you're throwing your grenade, you're in an animation. You know, that whole arm movement, it takes a while for you to pull your gun back up. And if he times that right, he can probably get two or three shots off. So I really wouldn't recommend doing it in that situation. Only if they're hiding, you know, like super hard. You know, maybe if I had him one shot and he was down, let's say this barrel wasn't here. I had him one shot down in there and he's crouching. Then I might pop a nade like that, you know, catch him while he's waiting to get his shields back. Uh, assuming he's not gonna run on the other side. You know, things like that are good times to use frag grenades, but not when you're afraid that the other person might peek out. I would not recommend using it um, behind here. Just keep your gun drawn. Maybe uh, if he has, if he doesn't peek for the first second, then maybe you can pop one, but I would I would be hesitant on those situations. And also, make sure you're not throwing grenades in the middle of a gunfight. Don't do that. Uh, you know, you're, you're just probably gonna lose. You know, if you put like two shots on and then you look at the floors or throwing grenades, like you just keep your gun drawn, keep shooting. That's gonna get you killed a lot of the times. But the one last thing I wanna mention about the frag grenades, like I said, great for bouncing around corners. Uh, obviously, I have big bounces. Great for popping shields. That's pretty much the big thing is popping shields. Make sure you're not relying on grenades because one frag grenade will not kill somebody. See, that was right beneath his feet. That won't kill him. But a plasma grenade, one plasma grenade will kill him right beneath his feet. And a splinter grenade will do just the same. I'm sure you guys have seen a splinter grenade, but... Uh, you know, if you have it, they'll absolutely destroy you. So I'll get to those. But that's basically the general tips on the uh, frag grenade. I think that's all I can tell you about those. Try to make sure you're, um, you know, popping them in doorways, leading people with them. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, make sure you don't rely on them to kill people. 
So we're gonna move into the plasma okay. grenades now. A super good time to use grenades, and you can do this with pretty much any grenade, is just to kind of punish a chaser. Now if I know Dallas is gonna be following me here, and I'm just kind of on the run, and I'm running like this, he's gonna be hugging me tight, I can pop a nade like that against the wall, and just watch him walk right into it. You know, you can do that with any grenade, any grenade will do. Um, frags, in my opinion, are still the most effective for that. You know, you kind of be a little bit more precise. Um, I really like doing that. You can do that with any of your surroundings, pretty much. You know, actually, uh, Tyler, or aka Corpsick, had one of these in his most recent highlight video. Uh, check this out. I'll link his channel in the description. But he was running from somebody like this and bounced off this wall. And with somebody chasing from yellow and he got him. And it was just hilarious because, like, the guy just walked right into it. But you can do that in a lot of scenarios. You can, you know, throw it off the wall in front of you and just turn around. The person will still be chasing you. So, use grenades to punish chasers because, uh, you know, chasers deserve to die. So... Okay, I actually lied. There's a couple more things I want to mention about frag grenades. First off, I, yeah, I should definitely mention these are impact grenades. They're only going to explode one second after they hit the ground. So that means I can throw one straight up. That will not blow up until it hits the ground. Look at this. That one goes off one second after I hit the ground. And there you go. Throwing it off the wall will do the same thing. Off the wall, it's only after it hits the ground. If it hits the wall, it's still live. See what I'm saying? It's only, like, I can do this and it'll still, it's still live. Then it'll blow up. It has to hit the ground, and it's like a half second, I guess. I don't know if it's a full second. I don't think it is. But it's only going to go off if it hits the ground, or, like, the floor. You know, if it hits this, it'll work just the same. You know, Halo, Halo has a system for that, but... Like, up here, this will still act as the ground. It doesn't have to be, like, you know, the mid part of the map. But make sure you guys are looking at that. Another thing, while throwing grenades, make sure you're paying attention to your movement, because that's going to drastically affect the distance of your throw. So if I'm throwing towards the green area and I'm walking straight it's gonna go farther than if I'm walking backwards it will change the distance drastically look at that it didn't even make it up there so if you're walking backwards you're backpedaling and throwing grenades just understand it's not going to go as far so that might not be in your best interest sometimes obviously you can't help it but make sure that you're paying attention to that as well also if you jump while you're moving forward you'll be able to throw a nade significantly farther kind of on the uprise of your jump you know, throw it, give it an extra arch, it'll absolutely soar. So make sure you're paying attention to your movement when and you're throwing And you can use the well. uh, backpedal, like say if I'm bottom mid and you're up there at top mid, if you backpedal nade, it's gonna, he's gonna lob it more than where if I was running straight, he's gonna throw it so high up in the air. Like, so if I needed to land a nade up in the mid, I'd look straight up, backpedal a couple times and then do that. And it's not gonna have as high of an arc as it would if I was to be running forward. Not a bad point. If you can pull that off, that's, uh, that's a little tedious or, uh... Uh, meticulous is the word I'm looking for, but yeah, possible. Either way, um, those are some extra tips there, so we're gonna move into plasma grenades now, I promise. So moving into plasma grenades, I just want to say, first off, I don't feel like they're anywhere near as effective as frag grenades. I definitely prefer to have those, but there are definitely some good advantages to using them and good times to use them. So first off, the first thing to know, you should know if you're just a Halo player in general, but they will stick to people and blow up a second after sticking them. So, you know, that's kind of cool. That should be, you know, already something that you guys know. But another thing you can do with them, this is the only grenade that'll let you do it. You can combat evolve as they call it, but it's when you throw uh, plasma next to a weapon on its pad and, well, I guess I overthrew, but it'll launch the weapon if you get it close enough. It didn't go anywhere nicely, but if you, you can do some neat things. You guys can look up some weapon launching things. I have a, I actually have a video talking about that in one of them. Uh, I can't quite remember. What is it? Uh, Pegasus I have that and the um, Riptide one. So you guys check out the Comet of All stuff. But you can stand in neat places and throw plasmas and launch the power weapons yourself. That way you don't have to go out in the open and get killed. Um, another thing they can do, it's very good at draining overshield. Because if you stick somebody with the overshield, you can... Go ahead and pop off a lot of it. I'm gonna let this charge up for a second so I can end up draining it. But if you stick somebody with it, there you go, completely gone. So that's not easy to do, but you can do it. So plasma grenades are really effective against overshields. Um, super good nades if you can stick people. But if you can't, there's a few things you can do. You know, you can still use them like pra uh, frag grenades. Like I said before, if you land one on the ground and somebody stands on it, it will kill them. Yeah, I didn't really actually want to kill them, so that works out fine, but you saw it before. You know, that's something to note. If you do a good enough nade trap with them, you know, you can just absolutely kill them without even having to shoot them, so that's great. Um, another thing to note, they throw on a straighter line than frags. Frags, uh, they, they see they start to sink earlier than these plazas. At least it seems like... Maybe not. I think at greater distances it becomes more relevant uh, or evident, but I believe you can throw plasmas... You know farther for sure I, I don't know what the exact distance is i don't have time to do that but like i said uh you know i don't know overall they're not as effective uh i don't know some tips you can do i guess if you're in a really shitty situation if dallas is coming around this corner with an ar while i'm already one shot i might throw one at my feet and hope that it blows him up too um but honestly with plasma grenades the biggest tip i can give is try not to rely on them you know 
you know, use them, use them as much as you like. Don't, don't like know this kid's like around the corner of Dallas and just like go, oh, I'm gonna stick him. Now, like it works there, but oftentimes you're probably gonna mess that up. That's gonna get you killed. I just wouldn't get too confident and rely on uh, plasma grenades because they're gonna mess you up more than anything if you think that you're, you know, you're just gonna be able to kill somebody with them. But there's definitely good times to use them. Um, they're overall just, you know, solid grenades. Like I said, not as effective as the frags, but I don't know. I know there's not a whole lot to say about plasma grenades. Oh, Try to stick people, I guess. Use them for combat evolve. It's cool stuff. So the last grenade we have to cover here are the splinter grenades or the promethean grenades. They are extremely awesome. Maybe a little overpowered. They're definitely overpowered. Do they need a nerf? Absolutely. But I'm going to still use them, uh, you know, while they're still available because these things absolutely destroy. Uh, really cool thing about these, they, they implode about like three inches, I guess, from their impact point, no matter what it is. Um, so that's really cool. You know, they're just awesome, man. They See, they stick up in the air. They'll bounce off walls and stay there. And those splinters are absolutely devastating. Now, if Dallas is here, I can kill him with one nade, throw it at his feet, and he's dead. And, and like, I know in Breakout, I used them a ton. I would grab them and get so aggressive with them because I just throw them at people's feet, and it's absolutely devastating. So the one time I would recommend using grenades in a gunfight, let's just say, like, we're bottom mid here. I know Dallas is, like, up here, and I have these. I'm just going to pop out, throw this at his feet, and, like... In that situation, he's going to be totally messed up because these things just absolutely destroy. Um, that's, of course, being confident in the fact that you can throw them at somebody's feet and be accurate with them, which, you know, isn't too terribly difficult, which is why they're a little overpowered. Pretty annoying to be killed by, um, but they're definitely effective. I really enjoy them. There's tons of other really cool uses with them um, because the splinters that sprout from them stick around for a little bit and will definitely absolutely damage you. So like, if I just threw those out and Dallas still runs into those, and jumps into those splinters, they'll still kill him. If he, you know, if he jumps into them enough, those will kill him just, just by being there. So you probably already know that playing this game for a couple months now, but in case you didn't, it's super, super great. Those are absolutely awesome. They're annoying as hell, but like one thing I love about them, you know, if I think that somebody's like, I'm sniping here, right? And I have these on my back. And I think somebody's about to come up my lift or like, you know, I don't know. Let's just say, you know, if you're playing with a team, you should be pretty aware of where everybody is anyways. But like, let's see, I see this kid, right? Okay. I don't have time frame right now. I'll pop these nades right here. I'll throw two down and I'll just keep looking. And like, it, he lifts into him and dies. It, but the nice thing is I could throw those down like three or four seconds early and those splinters will still be there. So I know for like a good 10 seconds, I have my back covered. I don't need to worry about that. I can just continue to look on. Like, let's say I don't have time to screw with him. I'm looking at the blue spawn. I need to watch that. I'll just pop those down and just watch that. And then I'll just be back at what I'm doing. And that's why I absolutely love these grenades. Um, you know, you can use that in multiple situations. Or let's say we're here trying to not let them push out a yellow. And I go, okay, I'm, I'm nading yellow. Wow. Well, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm nading yellow tunnel. I, you know, the yellow tunnel is splintered. I don't have to worry about that. Nobody has to worry about that. Nobody on my team needs to be concerned because nobody on your team in the right mind is going to try to jump to the splinters. So you buy yourself a little bit of time with them. They're really great. They just, you know, just clear something, not have to worry about it. You know, overshield's about to come up. I know they're in blue. I'm going to pop one right there and I'm going to pop one in this window because those are two really big points where people like to try to jump out. So I, I use those so often in game. I absolutely love them. You know, like I said, maybe they're a little too strong. They're definitely overpowered, but I'm going to absolutely keep using them while they're still in the game. I, I adore them. Um, but another thing to make sure you look out for is uh, marking your spot like that and then backing into it because they'll kill you too. So you have to be absolutely aware of where you put them. Make sure you're not, you know, walking into your own splinter grenades because they'll stick around for a little while and they'll get you if you forget about them. Um, if you forget about them, make sure, you, you know, you're looking out for those. One more thing that should have been pretty obvious, but I feel like I should say it anyways. Splinter grenades are also really great for keeping people off power weapons and or overshields or invis, anything like that. You know, you can do the same thing, just kind of pop one on it. And now you know that nobody's going to be grabbing the sniper because they will die if they do. Uh, likewise, the overshield, same deal. Um, they'll die before they can get it. So, you know, if I try to grab it here, I still die. So make sure you use those for, uh, you know, that situation. If you're playing you know, an intense team game or just kind of baiting anything, you can still do it. But if you're playing an intense team game, you can, you know, if you're not able to get to it, you're out of range, but you want your teammate to get that overshield, you know, you can just pop an pop an eight on that overshield and know that, you know, you bought yourself some time because they're not gonna be able to get it either. So splinter grenades are awesome, man. I don't know if you guys even like those or if you just kind of like toss them away or just try to avoid them. Make sure you grab them, man, because they're really great for locking off uh, certain parts of the map as well as just bombing people at their feet because they absolutely destroy. So I think that's all I have for the separate grenade tips. Um, I'll actually mention this one more grenade here. This is a little pro tip. It's super, super nice. If you get the blue spawn on this map, 
on Team Slayer uh, or any game type really, you can sprint out to this window right immediately. The other person who's going to be going for the overshield is always going to be running up this way. This is just a nice little frag grenade tip. I do this every single time and it works so well. If you get the good spawn. They'll be coming out of that yellow curve. They'll be coming right from here, sprinting up. They'll jump here and then mantle up to the overshield. But you can easily stop somebody from doing that. To also go simulate that run for me. It's so easy to do. You can just jump over this window. I'm just going to go ahead and be in the window. But you can see him running up. You just pop a frag grenade right about here. And it's right on him every single time. And even if he gets the drain, you're going to kill him. So, like, really, it's just, like, the best nade. I do it every single time. I absolutely, like, destroy the person going for overshield every single time. That's a super nice little thing to just keep your, you know, keep your mind on. Keep Remember to do that. You'll, you'll get the overshield for your team every single time. And if they happen to beat you to it, then they won't be able to use it because it'll be drained. So, I think that's all I have for the grenade tips, guys. I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you guys uh, get better with grenades. You know, find better situations to use them. Try not to uh, rely on grenades. Um too too much in gunfights uh don't try to you know get crazy with the plasma grenades and try to go stick mode all the time um unless of course you have uh splinter grenades so those are the ones that i would absolutely recommend uh well i wouldn't recommend in every situation but you can use them and they they will work if you do it right so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh those are all my grenade tips let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see um you know more tips or of course you want to see more tips but tell me which ones you want to see next so i can prioritize those Make sure you guys go give uh, Big Texas a subscribe on his channel. He just uploaded a new highlight video today. So I'm going to link his description or his, his channel in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go switch with here. We got to go in here. Oh. <laughs> God, that kid got blasted. <laughs> All right. Charlie.